So post-production for Final Cut Pro 6 couldn't be any easier. I'm just going to put our SDHC card into a USB 2 reader here. And we'll see it come up on the desktop. There it is. It's marked Untitled. And we just open it up. And here are a few different folders. The BPAV folder is where the MP4 wrapped files are stored. The DCIM folder is where photos are stored if you happen to take any photos on your HM100. And the private folder is where we're going to find the .mov files. So if you are working exclusively in a Mac environment and you're using Final Cut Studio um, or any other Mac app for that matter, I recommend that you shoot in the .mov wrapper. Because what happens is when we go into the private folder here, we get the JVC folder, and then a CQAV folder, and then finally the clip folder. And it's inside the clip folder, let's just go into list view, where we see all of the clips on the card. Now keep in mind, I am viewing these directly from the card. The first thing you should do as a workflow is actually copy them onto a hard drive. But uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to take a peek at these clips first. And of course, we can use the cover flow option. And we can just look through them like this. These clips will only show up in your finder if you have Final Cut Studio 2 installed already. And uh, I happen to have it installed. So let's just bring the files into Final Cut Pro and see what they look like. You'll see this is Final Cut Pro version 6.0.6. .6. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to uh, list view here. I'm going to drag the whole clip folder straight into my new project here. So there they all are. Now I'm just going to drop one of these clips in right now just to show you what happens. Because we have our settings set to ask us what to do when we put a, the first clip into a sequence, um, it's asking me, do you want me to set the sequence to match the clip? And of course, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So now it creates this new sequence. And as you can see, if we go up to settings, we're running a XDCAM EX 720p 60 sequence and this particular one is at 35 megabits per second and it's automatically set it to 1280 by 720. So everything was automatic and we can just start throwing in the rest of our clips any way we want and there's no importing. All we did was literally drag these clips from the card into Final Cut Pro and that was it. We started working with them.